What's going on guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna be running you through a full week of training. This is something that I've covered a little bit on my Instagram page, but not so much on my YouTube, i.e. what my training split is, what I do, how many days I go to the gym, etc., etc. So I'm gonna be taking my camera into the gym and vlogging every single session. Sounds like a good idea in my head, but I think in reality it's going to be really, really difficult to get every session in. Obviously, I'm going to have to try and keep each session like a couple of minutes for video purposes. Otherwise, this video is going to be super, super long. But it's Sunday today, so we're actually resting. But tomorrow is the start of a brand new week of training, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Okay guys, so it is Monday. It is time for my first session of the week. This is gonna be a lower strength session, which basically equates to heavy ass squats, heavy ass RDL, and some heavy ass hip thrusts. Expenditure wise, this one pretty much is gonna be the most taxing of the whole week, which is why I like to get it out of the way early doors on a Monday. But so this video isn't like three hours long. Um, I'm obviously not gonna film like every single set of every session that I'm hitting this week. Uh, probably just gonna film like a set, maybe my top set of each movement, give you guys the gist of what's going on. But we're gonna get warmed up and start with some sets. So we're gonna hop in to a top set now, guys. 210 kilos is gonna be the working weight for today. Only gonna be two sets today. I'm actually hoping to get a double out of this. But we'll have to see, let's hop into a set. the squats today two sets of two at 210 kilos pretty sure that's a pr uh, i think i've hit it for one set of two before but definitely not for two sets so yeah volume pr done we're gonna move on to move on number two working weight for rdl this week is going to be 160 kilos two sets of 10 We just managed to get two sets out of 220 kilos on the hip thrust, two sets of 10 reps, uh, which is another volume PR. So all over this session has been very, very successful. We have just got a few sets of calf raises to do, and then we're all wrapped up. So we are in for our upper strength day, it's Tuesday. Uh, top three main movements on this day are gonna be flat bench, a seated barbell overhead press, and a pendle row. So I'll also be hitting some heavy accessories at the latter part of the session, but yeah, we're gonna get started off with these three compounds. First up's gonna be flat bench. We're warming up. <laughs> Top set today is going to be at 125 kilos. At the minute, it's actually my one rep max. So either A, it's gonna move smoother, or B, I'm gonna be able to hit it for more than one rep. So we've got the two reps. Uh, haven't actually watched the footage back yet, but definitely know that my ass was lifting high on that second rep, so a little bit pissed off about that, but we got the reps nonetheless, so that's a PR anyway. Uh, definitely, definitely just test the flat bench single again soon, because I reckon I can get one thirty now, but anyway, we're gonna hit back offset, 110 kilos, and then move on to OHP. So 
So managed to grab two sets of OHB at 80 kilos today. Both sets for five reps, but we're gonna move on to Pendlay row next. Uh, last week's numbers were looking like a two, two by six at 120, if I remember off the top of my head. So we're gonna keep the weight of that this week and hopefully increase on those numbers. <laughs> We have got a flat dumbbell fly, super set with a seated lateral raise. After that, it's gonna be some weighted pull-ups, and then we are gonna hop into a shrug and rear delt fly super set. That is gonna wrap it up for this upper strength session. Midweek, hump day, Wednesday, as most normal people will know it. And guys, this is gonna be my first rest day of the week. Uh, I actually take two rest days during a training week. Um, first one being today on a Wednesday, and then the next one will be on a Sunday, recharging before the new week of training begins. So, let's sit down, I'm like a thug. The main reason I take my first one on a Wednesday is because obviously my split is split up between strength and hypertrophy sessions. So this obviously just cuts right in between the two on the Wednesday. And yeah, I'm at Lucy's. Lucy either comes to mine or I go to hers on the Wednesday rest day. And we literally just spend the whole evening after work chilling out, doing a little bit of work, watching Netflix, uh, just basic rest day activity. So I'm not gonna hold it up any longer. I'm gonna get on with a little bit of work, carry on editing this video up for you guys and I will see you for tomorrow's session. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten more! High volume leg day, second leg day of the week, and also the second time that we're getting under the bar, the low bar, three sets of 20, and I actually upped the weight this week to 150 kilos, and I am fucking dead. Moving on to movement number two now, we're gonna go for some cannonball stance, leg press, high rep, short rest time, high intensity, let's go. Movement number three in this day is going to be a split squat on the Smith machine. We're keeping it nice and close, focus it out on that quad a little bit more, but we're gonna move away from some quad focus work now into a hamstring superset of dumbbell RDL, straight over supersetted with the lying leg curl. This one is gonna absolutely blow my hammies up. Only two sets of this as well, guys. We're over halfway through this session now. Let's get it done. <laughs> I always end this session with extensions and some more calf work, and that's gonna do it for legs hypertrophy. So it is Friday and we are in for our pool session. Just start off with some heavy deadlifts. Two top sets of six reps at 200 kilos today. Big, big volume PR for me. But really, that is the only super heavy movement in this pool day. We're gonna move on to some pull-ups now. Uh, just body weight, sets of 12 to 15 reps. Get the lats fired up before we move into the rest of the session. So I've been running this superset of a zero straight into an incline dumbbell pullover for a few weeks now. Quick tip for the incline dumbbell pullover is to stop the movement 
right before the point where you would stop it if you were doing this move and to hit your chest instead. Uh, really, really good way of keeping the tension on it. You literally don't need to pull it right through to over your chest. Remember guys, we're trying to hit the lats, so we're gonna move on to a pull down movement now with the V bar. We're trying to go as heavy as we can on this for sets of 12 to 15 reps. My goal for this week is to actually hit this weight for two sets of 15. Let's see if we got it. So for pull movements guys, that is really gonna be basically it for this session. Only like four or five accessory movements, but they all work really, really well for me. And this session is an absolute killer every single week, but we're gonna finish off with some trap work. We're just gonna be super setting a couple of exercises and then that is gonna wrap it up for this pool day. It is Saturday and we are in for our last session of the week and it is one of my favourite sessions out of them all. It is a push day, hypertrophy style, high rep, high intensity and we are ready to get it. As you guys have just seen, we started off on the flat bench. We actually managed to grab a volume PR today in the form of two sets of 10 reps at 105 kilos. Flat bench progress is insane at the minute, but we're gonna move on to movement number two, which is gonna be an incline dumbbell press. Just a regular incline, 30 degrees, uh, two or three sets, focusing more on engagement and contraction rather than a heavy weight, but yeah, very, very good. This is gonna continue to get that chest nice and pumped up. Let's hop into some sets. <laughs> This session is pretty much always going to be split in half with chest and shoulder exercises. I know a lot of people who like to alternate between chest and shoulders uh, during the session, but I mean, I've always just done it the other way. Do all of the chest movements first and then all of the shoulder movements afterwards. Just keeps it nice and simple. So flat and incline presses are going to be it for chest compounds. We're going to move into some flies now. A little bit of cable work with an incline motion and then we're going to hop over onto the other cable and do more of a decline fly. Three sets of each of these before we move into shoulders. So that's gonna do it for chest guys. We're gonna move on to some shoulder movements now. Uh, starting off with Arnie. This is actually gonna be new in this week for me. So we're gonna be supersetting this one with a seated lateral raise. An upright row and dumbbell front raise. Superset is basically gonna wrap the shoulders up for this one guys. Uh, we're just going to carry on now and finish off with some like lighter work. Uh, going to do some raises for the upper chest here and uh, some rear delt flies, etc. But I'm going to leave it there with the filming guys and just make my way through the rest of the session and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So there we go guys, a whole week of training summed up into like 10 minutes. That was a lot to get through in a short period of time. So if you guys are still watching, thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it. But hopefully this video has given you guys a little bit of insight into what a typical training week looks like for me um, and also sort of what goes on during my sessions. I'm not gonna lie, this was really, really hard. Like going into the gym and shooting every session was proper stressful, like so, so much to think about. And then obviously editing each session each night ready for the next day. Yeah, it was a lot of work. So I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your split looks like. Um, do you run a split like this or do you run PBL or anything different? I'd really be interested to know. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, guys, if you did enjoy the video. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. And I'll see you in the next one.